Hello avid royal followers, welcome back to the channel and we've got some juicy news for you today. Prince Harry had to step down from a number of military appointments, including Captain General of the Royal Marines, when he officially quit as a senior royal earlier this year. The loss of his military titles was reportedly devastating for the Duke and the royals had been holding out hope that the roles would be reinstated after his 12-month Mexit review. But palace aides warn such a move is out of the question. Royal expert Roy Royal Nika has claimed Harry remains hopeful the Queen will reinstate his military titles in the future. She said, However happy Harry appears, he is not at peace with the loss of his military roles. The Afghanistan veteran marked Remembrance Sunday at Los Angeles National Cemetery, photographer in tow, after his request to have a wreath laid at the Cenotaph was denied by Buckingham Palace. Miss Nika, royal correspondent for the Sunday Times, said the Duke hopes he will be able to participate in the official Remembrance Sunday commemorations at the Cenotaph in the future. She added, Harry would forego several noughts on any deal to put on a uniform and lay a wreath at the Cenotaph. But the expert said the Queen is opposed to such a move as the ceremony is reserved for working members of the royal family only. Miss Nika wrote, but palace aides say the decision echoed the Queen's view that either you work for the royal family or you don't. You don't make the royal family work for you. Royal correspondent said Prince, Princess Anne is expected to replace Harry as Captain General of the Royal Marines next year. Before stepping down as a senior royal, the Duke of Sussex held the titles of Captain General of the Royal Marines, Honorary Air Force Commandant of the Royal Air Force Base Huntington, and Honorary Commander-in-Chief in Royal Naval Command small ships and diving. The loss of Harry's military titles was agreed during the Sandringham Summit at the beginning of the year, where the Duke discussed the terms of a split with the royal family with the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William. Buckingham Palace said the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex understand that they are required to step back from royal duties, including official military appointments. Losing the military titles came as a great blow to Harry and in March he told the Com Com Commandment General Royal Marines, Matthew Holmes, he was devastated by the move. Meghan later told a friend that the decision to strip Harry of his military honours was so unnecessary, according to the book Finding Freedom. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.